All right, y'all. So if I can stop Cassie going into people's yards and just invading their personal space and stop Tilly trying to dominate dogs when they're on their own property, I could start this video proper. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michelle. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. It's Hyundai morning. <laughs> I'm a little bit salty this morning. Do you know why I'm salty? Because the ground is frozen like an ice skating rink. You would not believe how lethal it is on the paths. It's like glass. It's so bad. It is thawing though, but not as quickly as I would have hoped. So I'm in a pretty shitty mood, even though I say so myself. <laughs> but bear with me. All right. So some new footage came out yesterday and uh, this was some audio of Kaylee and Maddie. There is video attached to it. I think Fox News was the first to get hold of this. I'm not sure it looks like it and they're not releasing the video. They're just releasing a still. So this has set the internet on fire. You know, we've got, oh my God, who's Adam? <laughs> and it's Adam, Adam did it. We've not heard of Adam before. Let's point fingers at Adam, even though we know nothing about him. Let's point fingers at Adam because he was mentioned. Oh my God, breaking news. Or we have, this was fake. This, this is just fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. And look, I'm more sympathetic to that, to the latter than I am to the former, because we've had fake nonsense, fake nonsense coming out in this case, as we do in all cases. I've not heard anything quite as ridiculous as Brian Laundrie's hand coming out of a flower bed yet, but there's time. Guys, I told you I was salty, right? I told you I was salty. But look, 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 there is an interview. An interview with Kaylee's dad, Steve Gonzalez, and his lawyer sat there. Steve is not doing interviews anymore without his lawyer, which is a good thing. Yeah, listen to this interview. They knew about this footage. They knew about this footage early on. They know who Adam is. It's not related to the investigation. So stand down your troops, wannabe sleuths. Stand down your good men and women. <laughs> stand them down. You don't need to go and hunt Adam, right? So you can stop with your, oh my God, nonsense. This is nothing. This is Kaylee and Maddie walking from the corner club to the food truck. We know they walked there. We saw them arriving at the grub truck. They had some conversation. So listen to this interview. And now is the father of Kaylee Gonzalez, Steve Gonzalez, as well as their family's attorney, Shannon Gray, um, Steve, thanks so much for joining the program again. I made a promise to you that uh, our audience would stay on this case and not let this case die. Um, we had a cooling off period last week out of respect for law enforcement to bring the temperature down a little bit. What new can you tell us, Steve? I know we got this new surveillance video that was released by our digital team today. Um, what can you tell us? Um, that film... To the family, we've had that film for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe the business reached out to us directly and um, after they had given it to the police. So it, it was kind of comfort to, to us because it's it's just two girls having a good time talking about, uh, you know, asking about their bartender and, and just, just, being, just being girls on their way to uh, the grub truck. Yeah, so you don't suspect that this guy, Adam, that's stated in the video is somehow a suspect or anything like that. You guys have known about this this video for a while. We have, and we asked, and we did the obvious due diligence when we looked into that, and uh, we've, we were pretty, it was pretty clear that this individual was not a part of uh, the investigation as far as a suspect. So they go on to talk about the Hyundai the Hyundai Elantra, still looking for it, still inviting people from the public to help out here. Was it your vehicle? Did someone borrow it? Is it stolen? It should be easy to look up stolen Elantras. I'm sure the police have done that. 
But let's listen. So, Steve, what can you tell us about the investigation thus far? We, we, we've heard about the car details being released as well. Is there anything that we can do to, to get some answers for you guys so we can get this suspect, whoever it is, in custody? Um, they've, they've kind of informed us through, uh, communications that this, uh, they've checked all the easiest paths. So like if this individual had this car registered to his name and it was just something very quick that they could just look up in the area and, and go right to his house, they've done all the, the due diligence there. They've done all that. So now they're reaching out and they're going to look to the community, see if, uh, this individual borrowed this car, um, you know, it doesn't appear that it, it, it's something that they have real easy access to. So he may have ran and they really pushed the narrative saying, hey, if we can get these guys to focus on something that's really helpful, which is this car and, um, you know, find out if somebody says, hey, you know, that 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 car that looks a lot like mine, I'm going to come forward and just volunteer my information. And then, you know, they can figure out if somebody else had borrowed it or if it heck, who knows? You know, Steve, we talked about this off air, um, but one of the reasons why I want to bring this up is because I think it's critical to this investigation. Uh, these, a lot of these young people were teenagers, and there may have been some illicit activity that was minor that they would have gotten in trouble for, and it may be preventing them from coming forward. What can you tell these young people to kind of motivate them to give up some answers. Don't worry about all the petty stuff. Four innocent lives were were lost here. Yeah, I, I want kids to understand that this is such a big uh, case that 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 these guys have their hands full. Um, I wanted to go out there and tell everyone we support the Gonzalez family, support the local police officers, so much so that we want them to be able to work on this case. I know that they. This is way over the normal workload that they normally have. Plus, they have patrols. They have to patrol now. This guy is not caught. So, um, you know, there was some rumors that I that I had called these officers uh, a, a coward. That was not for these officers. That was for a lawyer that was standing in between what the lawyers, what the officers would like to release and what is actually being released. And I, I called that individual. And this was just about coming forward and saying that the profile is a male. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like at a month we could we can rule that that's not going to hurt the case. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty clear. Even you know the car the coroner said this it was a very strong individual. Two people had defensive wounds. Overpowered those people. So I'm just trying to get uh, steer the conversation into a way. So I have another son. I have another person who's going to school there, and I don't want yeah. him walking around those streets if it's not safe. So um, you know, we know as a family what we're looking for. And, you know, if they see an individual looking a certain way, I'm, I'm telling my kids, you know, steer clear of that. Steve, but, uh, this I is want your, other families to know. Steve, this is right? your first, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, brother, but this is your first Christmas without Kaylee. Um, how you doing? How, how's your family doing? To be honest, we're not even really going to have a Christmas because we, you just can't, you can't get yourself there to where uh, it would make sense. One of my... Uh, children's the youngest one is going to go stay with some families because they're going to have the normal type christmas mm -hmm. and she deserves that but for us we, we 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 can't do that it's it's too close to our heart and how do you have a celebration like this when you you've lost two of your favorite people in the world yeah. brother we continue to pray for your audience as well thank you so much for joining the program yeah, the first anything, first Christmas, first birthday without them, first family celebration without them, seems hollow, it's unreal, it's surreal. But if I can offer any words of comfort to the Gonzalves family from someone who knows what they're going through and the other families of Zana, Ethan and Maddie, let me just say that you're part of a club that no one, no one should ever have to join. And your joining of this club has been very public. It's been horrendous. There's a lot of fake news. There's misinformation. And there's a whole lot of work going on. Genuine good work. Good people in law enforcement and outside of law enforcement who want this absolute monster caught and brought to justice. 
And if I can offer any words of solace at all, it's that time is a healer. No, I went through a long period where when people said that to me, I used to think, I don't want to heal. I, I don't want to not feel like this anymore because it would be some kind of betrayal. You lose someone who's part of you and you think you can never, you can never be normal ever again. Nothing will ever be normal ever again. But time is a healer and to move on, to live the rest of your life, then things slowly do normalise. It's a new normal. It's a very different normal than it was before. But you'll find ways to deal with it. You'll find the small wins. And each of those small wins adds up. Eventually, the pain isn't so raw. It's always there, but it isn't raw anymore. It's like the scar tissue that builds up around it. And you wear that scar. And it's a battle scar. And at the moment, this is a battle. This is a battle to find this guy. Four lives lost in the most horrendous way possible. And it's up to everybody to move forward in this case. If you're following this case, if you're sleuthing this case, if you are a local who might have some information, if you were there, doesn't matter if you were taking some drugs or doing something illicit. The police aren't interested in that. They're interested in your, in your information. So anything at all to help these families move forward and bring justice to Ethan, Zanna, Maddie and Kaylee. You could be the person. You could be the person who has that little nugget of information that breaks this case wide open. So be the bigger man or bigger woman and come forward with that information. And that's all I've got to say for today. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I've been Michelle. Hope you're well. I'll see you in the next video. It's goodbye from Miss Tillington and Miss Cassie Springer. Bye, guys. Tilly.